it would appear that Ed has picked up a new expression from FX there. Radical, dude. But I thought your expression was badly wicked. I thought that's what you say all the time. <laughs> News round and BP still to come after the Bluebirds. <laughs> time on this one. Placky purse. 20p in it. Ugh. And about time too. I only sent you across the road to Mr Patel. Well, what have you got then? It's not right. Mr Patel's been ever so kind to my mum. I'm not going to do it again. Anyway, I want to join the Bluebirds. I want to join the Bluebirds? Bunch of toppy nose do gooding interfering wimps. Yeah. Mars bars? There's no profit on second-hand Mars bars. And where are we going to flog a little carpenter set? Look, it's got a real hammer. Listen, we told you. Electrical goods, radios and the like. We couldn't reach the radios. And we don't mean dinky dolls hair drying either. We want the real goods. Ow, that hurt. We did get some real goods. Got a cassette player, look. Hey, that's more like it. This isn't new. This is old rubbish. It's even got some crummy old tape in it. J.S. Bark. Need a drummer with the pet shop boys. Where'd you nick it? Out of an old lady's shopping bag. And this was with it. Hmm. I might be a shift of player for a few bob, I suppose. But this ain't worth diddly. I feel pretty, oh so pretty, I feel pretty and witty and <gasps> Sahara gold. I don't know if it's me. What do you think, Ivy? I liked you better with silver ash, dear. Mm. Kinder somehow. I wonder what's keeping Gertrude. She was only going to Mr Patel's. I hear she is now. Oh, good. Oh, a den of thieves. That's what this estate has become. Oh, I love a cup. Oh, and that poor Mr. Patel. What's the matter with him? Shoplifters. Oh. oh. How much did he lose? Oh, just some toys and sweets. Well, that's not so bad, honestly. Kids nowadays. Mm. Yeah. How much he lost is not the point, Ivy. It's still stealing, and what are we going to do about it? Not easy with children. When I was a store detective, I remember... Excuse me, Annie. I am not just talking about pilferage. Look, we started the Bluebirds to clear up this estate. And yet Mrs. Jenkinson can't take a step without having her handbag snatched. And somebody's been scrawling godless words in the lift again. Oh. Rome wasn't built in a day. Oh, Ivy's right, Gertrude, and look what we have done. We got the Jenkinsons' heating fixed. We started a beautiful garden in that bit of wasteland we cleaned up. Oh, yeah, and don't forget the youth club. Yeah. And best of all, we've got hard evidence on the iniquity of Colin and Proudfoot. <laughs> <laughs> Colin will lose his caretaking job, and then they'll kick Proudfoot off the council. Aren't <laughs> you? When they hear what's been going on. Mm -hmm. And I am placing the tape in the hands of the law at half past three. Yeah. The police will know how to deal with them once yeah. they've heard it. it. Oh, play it again, Gertrude. My favourite's the bit where Proudfoot tells Cullen his cart is in the pipeline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, where is it? <laughs> you haven't gone and lost the vital evidence, Gertrude. Lost it? It has been out of my sight all day. Come on, then. Where is oh, it? Must be oh, dear. the old Gertrude. Oh, it must be here. It's gone. Oh, it's gone. Oh. oh, oh no. And where's my pension book? Oh, oh no. Oh, Annie, Mabel, Ivy. What Satan's handiwork is this? Well, oh, Mrs. Jinkson had her bag, Nick. I wonder who did it. Uh, I bet it's something to do with Robbins. <laughs> He's into some new racket. What sort of new racket? Best to let the police find that out. You stick to your bluebird duties. Escorting duties. Ah! Down to the Derby and Joe Club with a cup of theatrics. And then. Be still my beating heart. Back again was enough a couple. Yeah, well, ah! I wish they walked a bit quicker. Ah. 
anyway. This rope is all wrong. You put Gravel and Jerry together, two strongest. Stands to reason they ought to be paired with the weak ones. Weak? Look who's talking. Just get on with the Bluebird rotors, Mandy. We've got it all worked out. Well, pardon me for existing. I bet JR's secretary doesn't answer him back. I am not the secretary. Rotors to write, table to scrub, cups to wash up. Oh, that's all right. Mandy will do it. She's only a girl. <laughs> What's going to her? Welcome, friends. You will find the, uh, the new order of service before you. But before we begin our devotions, let us each extend a hand and greet our neighbour in a spirit of Christian friendship. Good morning, Gertrude. <laughs> Don't be a fool, Mabel. This isn't a social outing. It is matins. <clears throat> uh, let us begin with hymn number 143 in the new hymnal. Now thank we all our God. are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, as the Lord said. Lovely service, Vicar. Mabel! Hello, lovey. Got a lot lined up today. I don't want me to help. I'm only a girl. Oh, I'm only a girl too, and it hasn't done me any harm. <laughs> it's not fair. I hate boys. They always leave me out. They made you into a bluebird, didn't they? Big deal. Well, I'm in for a big surprise. <gasps> Good morning, Vicar. Bye -bye, Mrs. I like the old tunes best myself. Our padre used now, to say. Fred. The vicar's very busy. Oh, what a comfort you boys are. I've been so nervous since they took my handbag. But now. That's right, Dora. They won't try anything on when the bluebirds are around. <laughs> Kill it, Rob. We play it right. It's a cool 700 quid in what? our pocket. What? that? Keep your voice down. Shut up. Uh, you cut on the tree fanning it in the pipeline. Half of 547 pound 87 p. 547 pound and 87 p for the tree felling. Culling that cheating scumbag. Him and his, I'll see you right for a fiver. So who's the other boat then? Proud for in it. The bloke from the town hall. What I ask myself, Rob, is why did they record themselves? Of course they didn't record themselves. Park it, will you? I'm thinking. Give it the old Ebo then, shall we? Bonehead! Oi, where's that pension book they nicked with it? Coming up. Mrs. Gertrude Landy. She runs those bluebirds. I bet they did it. What would they want to recall Colin and Proudfoot for? You'll be needing breathing lessons next. It's for your blackmail, isn't it? And now we've got it. That's a nice surprise. Come in, child. Can I watch your telly, Mrs. Land? Ozzy's on the blink. Watching television at your age, with all God's world out there to be enjoyed? What's on? Ah, uh, only songs of praise. Only, indeed. Make yourself useful, then. That's what anybody asked me to do. Dust in there. Get that for me, will you, love? Oh, Mandy, Gertrude, 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 you'll never guess what's happened. 
Well, if he'll never guess, then you better tell us, Annie. The chalice has gone what? from the church after the service. Oh. Bill Parks only turned his back for a moment. Oh, good heavens, oh. there's nothing sacred. This is a professional job. Oh. What's Robin's up to these days? Oh, it's you, Cullen. Can't you see I'm a busy man? Uh, I, I was just passing. I, I want you to have a word. One or two problems on the estate. Well, if it's important, I suppose I can spare you five, maybe four minutes. Yes, well, it's pilfering. There's a lot of it about. Council property? No. Ah, oh. Ah, oh. oh, well, uh, <clears throat> <coughs> that's all right, isn't it? Always busy, you see. Yes, who is it? Robbins, dear. Robbins? I told, I told you not to phone here. Five quid for the tree felling, eh? Uh, no, I've said all I had to say about the tree felling, so you Look, can just... Look, I've got a little proposition. Proposition? What sort of proposition? It's about a tape. Tape? What tape? Can you leave out a tape? Search me. You was both recorded. Recorded? Half of five hundred and forty-seven pound, eighty-seven p. Yeah. Oh, that's and my voice. Made, How did... Uh, all right, Robbie, that's enough. Pounds. Put it off. Five hundred quid. Five hundred pounds? I haven't got that kind of money. Oh, well, uh, I'll be off to the police then, shall no, I? No, no, look, there's no need to be hasty. Uh, and don't come round here. I'll come and see you. That's the third time we've had the door slammed in our face. Doing good's quite hard. Nobody trusts us. You can't blame them, though, can you? Little kids everywhere, snatching bags and thieving. Hey. Robbins, he's got a girl with him. That's not a girl, Granville. It can't be. It is, you know. It's Mandy. Andy. I bet it up to you with the bluebirds. I'm not surprised. You're too clever for that lot. I thought it was going to be fun. A secret society. <laughs> I thought it was going to be exciting. Exciting? With those old trouts? They give me all the boring things to do, just because I'm a girl. I think you and me should have a little bit of a talk, eh? Jesus was watching us. Of course he wasn't. His statue was. Never took his eyes off us. We'll probably be condemned to everlasting hellfire. I'm not going to do it again. You'll do as you're told, if you know what's good for you. Pete, this is Mandy, our new recruit. Mandy, Pete. Hello, Mandy. Well, I'll certainly put the frighten as an old Cullen and Proudfoot. Should be worth a nice bit of dosh. I'd like to have seen that landing woman's face when she found that missing. <laughs> Safe as ours is up there. So you got the tape? Nice one, Rob. You're really in the big time, aren't you? What's it worth? Melted down? Melted down? Anyone can see this is an antique. I hope you didn't get your greasy mitts all over it. Don't tell me you two forgot the candlesticks. Listen, we did tell you the orders were a couple and two candlesticks. We didn't have time, honest. The vicar was still there. Well, you'll have to go back then, won't you? I'm not. I'm never going back into that church. Ah, windy little rats. Man, give me that chalice. Got to think of somewhere to hide it. You ought to wrap it in something. Yeah. Well, like I said, Mandy, you want to see the action? Stick with us. Hey, be careful, Rob, will you? I thought she was one of them bluebirds. Not anymore, I'm not. So where's this, sir? Uh, action. Follow me. And Pete, stash that chalice. An electronic eye and expert surveillance. That's what you need, Mr. Patel. In my experience, it makes them think twice if they know they're being watched. Marks and Spencer can afford electric eyes, Miss Schreiber. Imri Patel and son rely on their own eyes. Oh. You boys, I can see what you're up to. Oh, you don't have to worry about Dave and Leroy, Mr. Patel. They are bluebirds. They will be your eyes. Bluebirds? I can't afford to pay bluebirds. Oh, no charge, Mr. Patel. It's all part of the neighborhood service. Now then, Leroy. Start 
Station yourself uh, behind the frozen food cabinet. Dave, cover vegetables in the exit. And remember my instructions, watchful but unobtrusive. You'll have to work on the unobtrusive, Dave. Let me know how it goes, Mr. Patel. More trouble, Mr. Patel. What you need is someone to uh, protect this place. Know what I mean? That won't be necessary, thank you. These boys are protecting it. Oh, really? Stop that all. Yeah, you and who else? Frank Bruno? Me. I'm calling the police. Hey, I wouldn't do that if I was you. See, uh, it's all quite simple, Mr. Patel. You hand over 10 quid a week, and you won't get any more trouble. I will not pay a protection racket. Hey, Pete, don't you find it a bit chilly in here? You, take out that plug. Must try and warm things up a bit, mustn't we? My lean cuisine, my black forest ghetto. Mandy and you a bluebird. Told you you shouldn't have let girls in. Nice to have met you, Mr. Patel. I saw her helping Robbins to fight Mr. Patel. Oh, our little Mandy in league with oodlums. No, no, it can't be true. As true as I'm sitting here. And what were you and Dave doing while Mandy was behaving like Al Capone? We were wounded. Feel this bump on my head, Miss Schreiber. Oh, nasty. Oh, I should never have left you alone. You need some ointment on that bruise, my boy. I got some at the chemist this morning. <gasps> The proud foot tape. Gertrude, don't tell us it was in your bag all the time. Well, you know it wasn't. Somebody took it out and somebody has put it back. The Lord moves in mysterious ways. Has he put your pension book back? <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet, Mabel. Oh, oh, well, happy days are here again. <laughs> the skies are bright. No, and you're you're again. singing, dear. Oh, well, before we take it to the police, Gertrude, a little prudent blackmail. Blackmail? <laughs> that is not a word to be used in Christian households, Mabel. Of course not, Gertrude. I was just thinking about the lighting in the corridors. Yeah, pitch dark half the time. Muggers delight. Proudfoot still hasn't done anything about it. He will if he knows we've got the tape. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> that would not be blackmail, Mabel. In the Lord's eyes, that would be legitimate negotiation. Uh, I think you're right there. <laughs> but who put the tape back? That's what I'll like to know. Uh, 250 pounds, that's my last word on the matter. Make it uh, around 300, and you're off. 275? Is it ready? Done. <laughs> Not so fast, Robbins. Now, before we conclude our little business, I'd uh, like to hear that tape again, please. Fair enough. Never make number one, of course, but I think you'll find the lyric uh, interesting. Mm. That's not us. Hang about. Must have got it wrong. No. It's now. Listen, it's coming up now. Hey. I understand it. What have you done with it, eh? Thank you for the concert, Robbins. I must be going. Hang about, something's wrong, yeah? Good day, Robbins. Oh, and I wonder what pest control would make of this garage. Shut up! And the little matter of the tape has been satisfactorily concluded. Oh, well done, Mr. Proudfoot. <laughs> Never stops. Yes, who is it? Here. Oh, Mrs. Fletcher, how can I assist you? Well, it's about the corridors. No proper lighting. I mean, it's a mugger's paradise. And as for that cull and the shiftless layabout... Shiftless? 
Yes, I'm afraid the allowance for ratepayers money doesn't run to fancy lighting. Oh, nothing fancy. Just a few strong bulbs. Um, uh, are you interested in music, Mr Proudfoot? Not particularly, Mrs Fletcher. Now, if you don't mind, I'm a rather busy man. It's only that I've just come across a rather unusual tape. Tape? Play it right. It's a cool 700 quid. It's me again. Make a stop. Make a stop. Yes, all right, Mrs. Fletcher. We've heard it before. Ah, oh, yes. But the police oh, haven't, Mr. Proudfoot. Yeah, yes. Well, Mrs. Fletcher, about these bulbs of yours, which would you prefer, pearl or plain? Pickles, you made to do on the curb with my foot. Oh, oh, we're going. taking pickles for a walk. You coming? Only as far as the chip shop. I'm starving. <laughs> There you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. Listen. Smell something nasty. you got a nerve, Mandy. We're not talking to you. Yeah, you're with Robbins now. Stop interrupting. You've got to help me find the chalice. Robbins just told me he's got a buyer. Is this some trick? Robbins sent you, didn't he? Why don't you just get lost, Mandy? You are so dense. Don't you know undercover work when you see it? Undercover work? Like Cadme and Lacey. You're trying to tell us you're some kind of secret agent or something. Who do you think switched the tapes? You? How did you get the Proudfoot tape back into my grand shopping bag? Easy peasy, I followed you into the library. It's true. They never notice anything when they're reading. OK, Mandy, so what's this about the chalice? Pete hid it in the garage. It's cool. Mr. Robbins, you've dropped. She's on her way. Have you found anything yet? Well, I know it's been somewhere. Pete said. I've got an idea. Give me a chip, Jerry. Cross my tape, then my dinner. No way. The paper, then. That'll do. Who are you trying to be now? Cut me your lacy. It might work. Give me pickles. <laughs> See, pickles. See, pickles. Have you gone out of your skull or what? Pete wrapped the chase in chip paper. Good thinking, Mandy. See, pickles. Go on. See, Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Look, he's onto something. Shake that rubbish. <laughs> Looking for something, were you? Come in, come in, come in. I'll bet you could have been What a to do! Keep away from me, you bully. You're not scared of her, are you? Hey! <laughs> yeah, I am. Look what I found, Miss Schreiber. The chalice, well done, Mandy! Hey, you. And you! Get them down. Granville, get some rope. These two will make a nice little parcel for the police. I know where they send me Shriver. Why are they called the weaker sex, Jerry? Stands to reason. Still, you They're delicate, aren't they? Oh, there you go. Another legitimate negotiation. <laughs>